<laughs> Hello and welcome back to the super bonus round. Fuck my life, not one of these. Well, but the music almost sounds exactly like they ripped it from Crash 1, I will say that. Like, because well, like, they, they have, like, the tribal chanting in it. It's the same sounds. I'm surprised they will get... Well, they might be stock things, so that's yeah. probably how they got it. Please, for, forgive the opening of the wrapper. How good are his rhymes? Oh, that's a different kind of wrapper. Uh, hey, I opened the can of worms. I got to have some of them, too. I suppose. Oh, I love the shadow that follows, follows that. Like, I just love everything about this visually. Well, you know, we went from, you know, basically... Very low poly, poly with few, very few vertices to now, like, thousands and thousands of vertices and so uh, complex fur, fur simulation technology on 3D models. Yep. And realistic lighting with, like, new lighting. Oh! Oh, that'll happen a lot. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna embrace it. I'm... See that? It's the uh, same. They didn't re they didn't redo it. I checkpoint. Nice. My boy! No! Oh, my God! That's the second fucking time that you... Lost your fucking invi invincibility and by falling. Oh my god. Okay, you know so, what? Uh, we are just gonna add this to the fucking channel right now. We're gonna do a counter for every time that you get the invincibility and you fucking fall. Because that is just too priceless. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Well we can't get count the fuck out of here. We can't count the first time because it was never recorded. I did it on a test run. So that'll be number one. Yeah, here, monkey. Oh, that mother... Really? Yeah, here. <laughs> the flying animation when he went away, like, you can see him flip. And that was just my phone. Probably an email. Whoa! Hey, another bonus. I wonder if it's super this round. <laughs> Alright, that one was a bit close. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. Well, hey, if we ever do Spyro, we'll come full circle. Oh, speaking of which, now that this game is out, I don't know about you guys, but I recently said on a social media post on Facebook, you know, where they were talking about the Crash, you know, uh, Insane Trilogy being released, you know, and everything else. Uh, I think it was via ga the Game Bite page. It's a, it's a, a G A M E B Y T E. Uh, check them out on Facebook. Um, got some very cool stuff, very funny stuff sometimes. Um, Speaking of funny. What's oh, that? Speaking of funny, like he's getting his shit wrecked. But, he did, he... but anyway, they they had a post about the Insane Trilogy. And basically, you know, yeah, I was hyped, you know, the same as you when this, was, when this was coming out, when it was announced, and now that it's here. But I, and I know you definitely can agree with me on this and I, and so can a lot of other people we need now all we need is a spyro remaster wrong we also need a the crash ctr remaster too here but it, no, no, no 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 listen we need a spyro remaster more because crash and spyro they just went hand in hand back then like it, it was like okay you play crash you play crash you know and everything else and then boom came spyro and it was perfect it was all perfect. And don't get me wrong, I want to see TR Remake too. But, you know, we we, we need a Spyro Remake just more. I, I, I personally would rather have a Spyro Remake over a CTR Remake. I'd rather have that first than a CTR Remake. Just because, I, you know, it's been a long time since we've seen Spyro. Not really. Well, I'm not counting that, that, that mockery that, you know, a while ago. But... Like, Crash is the one who's actually been missing for about 10 years. I know, but... It's, and for good reason. But at the same time, i rather have the original Spyro back, just because it... Get the voice the cast, get Stuart Copeland back, or... I think they can. I think they, they'll be able to, now that they released the Insane Trilogy. You know, being that, you know, the same people that made Crash made Spyro, you know. 
So no. I think that's the, and that's actually the second time you got that wrong. Oh my god. Okay, Naughty Dog developed Crash. Insomniac developed. Fire. Oh. However, well. they were both earned, they were both owned by Universal and are currently now owned on, under Activision. So in that regard, you're right. But they were not made by the same people. Oh. So, what I wanted to mention when you brought up that uh, that video on uh, on uh, Facebook, that's actually something I really dislike about social media. Like they make those kinds of videos and they don't source what the hell they're saying. Like they're saying, oh. They said that if there's enough interest is gained, that uh, we'll do insane trilogy. They never said anything like that. They, like they've been asked that question a lot in a lot of interviews. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice because I've been so fucking hyped for this game. Oh, give me a minute. <laughs> to the computer room. <laughs> no, that was the voice I did for um, uh, the Zora King and Breath of the Wild. Well, you're a very hot man, Link. <laughs> I want you to save us from Baruta. <laughs> Dude, it sounds so bad. It sounds funny as hell when you. Like, you have to boss. listen. Okay, if you if you're not if you're new to the channel, please watch the uh, King Dora fan episode of uh, Breath of the Wild. I do that. I do that voice for eight fucking minutes, and it kills me. <laughs> now that your voice is fucked, it's, it's just great. Okay, so. One thing I I don't like those videos where they do those like vignette things and they like they say like oh if this this information this information they don't source anything so it's really misleading when they say oh that they that they they're gonna make their uh, CTR remaster if they if this sells well that's that may inherently be the case but they really haven't said anything what they only said was like oh maybe future crash games would depend on uh, the, success the, the, the success of this. Excuse but me. all I know is the fact that like Spyro the gameplay was sort of like Crash. It, you know, just different, you know, not not necessarily because Spyro is a lot more open world. This is very linear. Yeah, so but I don't know. It, it's just the fact that you're playing a game of a creature, you know, with Yeah, some... they're both platformers with uh, animal mascots, but yeah, so... they played very, very differently, my friend. But I think that we need a Spyro remaster. I, I agree, but they have the assets already for all the, almost all the characters that were in CTR. May as well just make them happy. Yeah, then but then here's move the thing, on. though. I, I, because I, here's I the unfortunately th don't the, think that if the, here, Activision here's... does it... Let me just say this. If Activision does it... You know, I don't know if it's gonna pull through. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they made the deaths even funnier. I don't know if it's gonna pull through. Like, he like doesn't say is. wow. He just fucking plops and dies. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really funny. Go ahead. But anyway, I, honestly, I don't know if it's gonna be as much hype as. This was. You'd so, actually be you'd actually be very surprised how that's not the case. Every post about the insane trilogy is like, oh, is CTR gonna remaster? Oh, we should get a CTR remaster. And the other thing is too, here's the more the more logistical side. I don't know if they're done with Skylanders yet, and they're because, Well, honestly, I think Skylanders is coming to an end because I, I see very I was gonna less get to and that. less I see less and less of you know the advertising, I see less and less of... Well, there's no, there's no new game this year. That's what it's going to get to. Right, you. and I don't see any more, like, releases of any care of any of the play characters, blah, blah, blah. I don't see... I don't see any more of it. Like, I, I, I like honestly, when I went into my GameStop the other day, I went into my, game, the, my local GameStop the other day, and I still saw the same shit for the recent Skylanders... That came out like several months ago, still there, like not even moving. So that just goes to show you that it's gonna go the way of Disney Infinity. That's what happened. Yeah, it's going to. So they're gonna say, "Oh, we're not making a new game. We'll just support the new one." And then, then next at a year's time, they'll announce, "Up, oh, it's folding." Yeah, and then towards I, the life in general is just going. Then that's when I think that's when we'll get a Spire remaster because Skylanders will be gone. Yeah, but here's the thing: this. They were work. They've been working on this for a good three or four years. It'll be a f eternity before we see it. Uh, well, who's to say that they uh, that they haven't been working on it already and they just haven't said anything? You also make a good point there, because but, because here's the thing. And I brought this up a, a while back. Or I, with uh, before, the discussion before we stay on this discussion too long. Where I want to. My main point for why I think they would do CTR first. 
they have the assets. They have a lot of the environmental assets and the physics that they could just reuse for uh, uh, CTR. So in the meantime, while we get while they work on Spyro, they could make that while we wait. Okay, well let me ask you this: Mario Kart, <laughs> but Mario Kart just came out. How long ago for the Switch? Three months. Okay, no, four and four. It's gonna okay, be four and a couple weeks. Okay, so I'm sorry if now, my voice is going. Now on. CTR is basically Mario Kart Crash Bandicoot style. If you think about it, yeah, I'm because you get power, you get power ups, you get weapons. And, you know, and, and you race on multiple circuits, multiple cups. So, here's the thing. I don't think we're going to see a CTR anytime soon because the fact that Mario Kart 8 for the Switch is out. And, you know, that basically, oh, like, like oh, we're going to release a, play, a PlayStation version of Mario Kart, basically. I didn't say they're going to release it, like, in a few months. I was thinking maybe a year to, to a, like, two or three all right, so we beat Papu Papu. So next time on the Super Bonus Round, I'm going to play as Coco. So thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. See ya.